Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, my voice sounds worse than it actually is. It's just because it's early morning and I've not had any light fluid down me. But I wanted to bring you along on my Saturday. It's currently just before 7, I believe. Yeah, or well, about that. So, I'm going to bring you along on my day. I'm just about to do my breakfast in the kitchen. And yeah. And I'm now sat with my breakfast. I've literally just made porridge. Yeah, it's the, um, like the garden syrup, the Quaker's garden syrup, like, oh, so simple ones. So, yeah, but that's all I've got for breakfast. Okay, so it's now a few days later, and yeah, I'd, after that last clip, I'd gone to B&M, I'd bought some batteries, I then slept, and I'm not kidding either, I literally slept and screwed up my whole sleep sky sleep cycle much to the point where i'm now currently pulling a bloody like all-nighter well i've already done but you know what i mean so yeah like to pass the time i did some like like uni work like some of like the self-directed study which i do need to complete today before lectures tomorrow but I have also done like two loads of washing today. I did them at the same time, by the way. But I started them at like six. So yeah, it already feels like such a long day. And like, I just wanna sleep. Well, I'm not at that point yet, but you know when you're like, I could just do with like sleeping. Yeah. Or like napping kind of thing. That's how I'm currently at. I have each I did eat some breakfast though, which was the Weetabix um cook like chocolate chip kinda like bites. I bought some of those and was like, yeah, let's go for those. And so I had those. No would admit it was nice. But yeah. They weren't on my planned purchase mental list. So, mm, could do better with that one, but I didn't fancy porridge and I needed milk anyway. Like, I was always going to need milk for if I did fancy porridge, but I didn't. So, yeah, and then I also picked up some lightly salted tortilla chip because obviously when you walk into a shop hungry you're like i could kill a bag of crisps right now so that's what i did i haven't eaten any yet but you know i bought them but i do need to get on with some work i've, re I've already read like almost a third of a book today just because of the washing situation but now I have all my clothes clean apart from like what I wore to go there and there's like the odd bit that I kind of there's like a dress that I realized that I could have washed but yeah I finally got stuff washing and the stuff that I couldn't go in the dryer I have got on like the mini era in my bathroom so it does work out well like it is like i have got stuff drying as we like speak but it's also like raining outside however i feel like i need to open the window just to let the air through because of the fact that i'm like air drying stuff and obviously you don't want damp to build up especially not in a uni room so yeah which means cue loads of traffic but maybe that'll be nice because it'll mean that I definitely don't go to sleep. But I could do with emptying my bins today. But I think my main focus will be getting that work done. Because I know it will take me a fair amount of time. So yay. But I'm going to bring you along on today. And I definitely will bring you along on today. But yeah. Let's go for a very working 
hopefully productive day. As you can tell, it's a lot later because I did end up having a nap. So here's to my sleep schedule being screwed. But hopefully I'm, because I'm not like fully awake with it yet. Well, I woke up a while ago, but you know, like I'm not fully like awake awake but I'll still probably have trouble sleeping for the fuck. I know I saw a tiny fly, but then I thought I had like a bigger one. What the hell? I was probably just imagining things there. But yeah. So I need to set up my TV, otherwise my mum will complain at me because she'll be like, it's a waste of money. Like you haven't watched it. Like I have genuinely not watched the TV. I didn't empty my bins, but that can be done tomorrow. And yeah, I haven't actually really eaten like a proper thing. Just yeah, so I should probably do that. But again, set up my TV and do some the of like the work from last week some of the self-directed work but yeah it's now a bit later in the day i'm trying to film on my laptop because my phone is like i've just realized my phone is tired of me but i've currently like i set up my tv i've been watching some sophie jane vlogs like i'm so behind and like i've picked and choose which ones i wanted to watch up to like a very recent point and the one I'm currently on was from like the 24th of August so I'm close but I put on a face mask the face mask I put on was the L'Oreal Pure Clay Glow Mask I have not done this in such a while but I was actually watching some of Sophie's videos and she just sort of did like it was just she was doing her skincare and i got out my serums and it was like i'm gonna do some of that i put one on and then i thought actually hold on a sec i can do my face mask so that's what i'm doing and yeah so i might look a little bit funny but oh well i wanted to put on a face mask I haven't done anything else because I've literally just been watching vlogs. Like, mm. I have got work to do tomorrow. However, like I've got work that I haven't finished, but any work that I've got tomorrow is self study. So I have that leeway where I can do that work and move on to that. And so I should be able to catch up at some point soon. But I also paid, what I forgot to say when, in the last clip is that I had just paid my like rent installment because my mum was helping out with like, yeah, my mum was helping out with rent for this one because maintenance loan doesn't cover it. And so she transferred she had transferred the money and so i just paid the rent like it's not technically due to the 22nd of october and it's currently the 27th of september but it's out of the way it's done i've not got that money therefore i can't obviously spend it and it just means that i've got a better track of what i have actually got to spend kind of thing but yeah because I had been to co-op this morning and bought some cereal, some milk, and what else did I buy? Because there was something else. Oh yeah, some crisps. Granted, I could have done with those. Like, I did eat most of them. And I haven't actually had a full proper meal today. No joke. I need to get back onto that. Because quite literally, I had some cereal a packet of crisps then some of those like crisps that i bought this morning a fruit and that was it so 
yeah, I definitely need to get back into the whole eating stuff. Like I do usually eat like a proper meal anyway. I just didn't and it just got late and yeah. However, I feel like by the time it comes to me going to sleep, I'll probably be hungry. That was great. But yeah, I kind of look not scary, but scary. And my phone has decided to now decide it's going to switch on after it's plug in. But yeah, I currently look like a weird thing right now with my face mask and all of that. But yeah, that's like the update. I don't know what, how. I just hit my toe against the side of the desk. I don't I don't think I'm gonna do any work tonight. I might do though. But I have just uploaded a YouTube video onto the system and all I need to do is schedule that because I've done everything else for that. I just need to schedule it. So I will get that scheduled because I'm trying to get back into uploading and creating content etc etc that reminds me i need to film a video <sighs> probably tomorrow would be best for filming that but yeah so i should try to film that with because the video that i haven't filmed is what i spent during freshers week and the reason why I didn't film it during Freshers Week is because halfway through, like halfway through, when it got to the point where I was going to film the first half of it and then try and do the clips as they were supposed to be, like I then got a cold and it knocked me out for all, a few days. And by that point, Freshers Week was over. So I have got to film that video. Because I kind of want to show more like the whole financial side because I feel like obviously yes finances are like different for everyone but I feel like there is never like a true example of like what people truly spend because whenever you see like a what I spent in a week during uni often it's those who are already earning off of like YouTube for example whereas I don't have that and so therefore any money I've got is literally purely student finance. I do get the bursary, like the NHS Learner Fund, I prefer to its bursary. I do get that, or I will be like I will be getting that, but the first is not when isn't till November anyway. But I kinda wanted to show sort of that as like a more realistic. Granted, obviously yes, because I'm doing a healthcare course. And I'm doing the healthcare and the healthcare course I'm doing falls under that NHS learner bursary. So therefore that does mean I technically am getting more anyway. But I feel like the spending is sort of like more realistic, more sort of what people should expect kind of thing. And yeah, and I've just got that to do. And I've been waiting for my a, an Amazon parcel. It's delivered, but I haven't had an email from my accommodation provider to say they have a parcel because I need to wait for an email like that before I can go get my parcel but yeah so I need to wait for that but it should have come through but especially because it wasn't as though my Amazon parcel was delivered late but we'll give them till tomorrow we'll give them some leeway there might have been a lot of parcels but yeah today had been a rainy day or at least it started out rainy and 
water was coming in our kitchen because there was a window that couldn't close. Luckily, they managed to get it. Someone came up to get his clothes. They're going to have to sort that whole situation out there. But, yeah. Going back to the Amazon parcels. One of them is a pencil pot. Because I've just got pens on my desk. And I know I can put them in my, um, like, pencil case. But when I'm sat here, or, like, I just like having it in a pot so I can just grab the pen. And so pot was highly beneficial and then I've got some plant fertilizer which obviously isn't a regular purchase for a uni student every time I have to go out and buy like food I'm like ugh that's more money I'm spending and like obviously yes I know food is essential but it's like annoying when you're spending money because it's like mmm I really don't want to be spending money but it's obviously essential money, but it's still like, oh, it's going down and down and down and down and down. So honestly, yeah. Like, I'm currently, the money I'm using is money that I earn from my work. So like my last paycheck, I didn't put it in savings. I didn't put any of it in savings. And I was lit and I'm literally still living off of that. But in some ways, I dread the day when I have to transfer some money from my student bank account into my main bank account. And because technically, I'd planned into that remaining money, like the whole, um, like just in the money I had remaining, I'd planned September into that. I've obviously not spent it, but I still dread the day when I have to go into that. And yeah, I just dread that day. I dread it. <clears throat> and I dread the day when it comes to my placement, because if it's the furthest one away, that's a lot of money I'm spending on, um, like, transport, honestly. Over six hundred pounds, like six seventy. It's horrendous. Like I could do it. Like I can do that. Like money, and I do get it reimbursed. Like I will get it reimbursed afterwards. But obviously, spending that money in that moment, you don't want to do it. But I think this is about dry. So I'm gonna go wipe this off and I will hopefully talk to you guys in a little minute. It is now just after one o'clock. I have actually eaten something. But like you know when you're not hungry but you know you're hungry. Like I I'm pretty sure I was in that like state because I've eaten and even though I don't feel full I'm like yeah that makes sense. Honestly, I finished up my skincare, so I put the serums on, the hydrochloric serum, yeah, and the, the cortisol, oh, collagen, and yeah, the other one was, oh, hyaluronic, so, yeah. I've used two those two serums. Both of them are from Face Facts. But yeah, I did watch some my TV. Granted, it has turned off now because it's been inactive for so long. I feel like I'm gonna get some work done because because I'm not tired yet. I'm thinking if I go to bed at two, it kind of means that I'll wake up slightly tired, but. I'll also be rested and so then I can hopefully get my sleep schedule back on track because honestly it is in shambles but I'm thinking maybe doing some like YouTube editing like I know I could do like uni work but I'm thinking try and get up to date with like my main channel stuff and just have stuff ready granted I am 
technically currently well not technically i am but i am currently currently like abandoning my asmr channel like i'm not abandoning it but it's kind of been put on a back burner with this cold it's like i don't want to like be whispering and also i just i need to like plan out like how i'm gonna film in the set in the sense of like this is a new like room figuring out what videos i'm gonna film etc etc because obviously i've bought a smaller amount of stuff and i can't afford to be buying loads of stuff for asmr videos so i need to figure out that and just yeah so i think i'm gonna edit the vlog that i filmed like that i started and filmed over like my first 24 hours as a uni student because i have scheduled that video i don't know whether i mentioned but i did schedule it so that is ready to go up which i do feel better about like I want to try and get videos up a little bit sooner than like one a week or at least like start to try to be able to do that but I also know that when it comes to placement I'm not going to be able to get up as much content so I sort of need to figure out like what I'm going to do with that etc etc and honestly it's just a hassle it's like how am I going to figure out finances when it comes to certain times but then there's someone who would want to be able to like film like the odd certain video that might involve me spending a little bit of money etc and it's just sort of figuring it out because next may like end of may oh i will be fine like i can start on the content but up until that point money is tight and especially because transport for first placement could be hella expensive and even though i will get reimbursed for it it's still like in that moment as i'm paying for it it's money that i need to account for and so it's just a whole like hassle like trying to figure it out kind of thing but i'm gonna get on with doing some editing and yeah and just planning out some of the stuff that i need to do for example i need to hoover in the kitchen because that is like my job and i haven't done that yet granted it had been hoovered like a week ago anyway so it's not as though it's not been hoovered at all in the time but that was like before we assigned roles to jobs so yeah and honestly it's just adulting at a pace but i am sort of like aware of any like extra money that i have coming in and because i know i have to look after my sister for a few days in december like just before christmas and so i know i'll get some money for that which i know will help towards paying for that transport like i know i can ask parents but it's like <sighs> because i'm being reimbursed for the money i don't want to if that makes sense but then it's also like at the start of my second placement is when I have some money coming in but then again I have also then got to pay rent with that which I will pay immediately when that money goes in mm. because honestly it's so much easier to get that out of the way because then you know what you've got to work with so I know about any like that little extra income coming in and it's just sort of trying to 
bend it as much as possible so that I've got the most going into paying for that transport if I am at the location that's more expensive for transport and just yeah like <clears throat> trying to plan for that is a hassle because like 670 is obviously a lot of money like I've got 630 in my savings so I can cover the majority of it with that but I don't think I'll need to go into my savings that much with that kind of thing I think when I'll need to go into my savings with that might be at the end of that like first placement where I need to pay for food kind of thing but yeah it's a hassle and it's all about before Christmas spending as little as possible like not spending the budget I've set myself from my maintenance loan installment because then like then I can just have that little bit extra going in just so that it's a little bit more of a boost and it doesn't seem as though like like it doesn't feel as like financially crippling if that makes sense like I'll get that money back like all of that money back but like I said it's in the moment where it's like mm, I'm struggling here but yeah and just that is how things are and also washing is expensive like I had to do two I had to wash my lights and my docks separately because my towels hadn't been washed yet and so therefore they were gonna bleed like that color was gonna run so I had to wash them separately and I ended up spending like eight pounds forty in total for two washers and a dry and that's not drying everything because there's a few things that can't go in the dryer but yeah it's a hassle and so hopefully next week actually no next week I need to wash my bedding but hopefully like the week after when I do my washing it won't be as expensive because I will be loading everything into one wash because obviously by loading everything into one wash it's so much easier cheaper like I know things might bleed a little bit but I'm kind of like in some ways I'm not too bothered by it because I haven't got any like white white stuff and yeah and anything that is like white is like socks and socks don't care if they turn like very slightly gray like fine it's life is expensive life is expensive i completely forgot to end the video i hope you guys enjoyed if you did don't forget to watch another one of my videos and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys